All families, regardless of whether you have a child with a disability or not, rely on networks of people that help you parent your child. Sometimes it's a grandparent, sometimes it's a friend, and sometimes because of the needs of your child, you just need somebody that's got a little bit different skill or a little bit different availability. It's really a sign that you're wanting to make sure that you have the best for your child and the best for your family. diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder when he was uh, about two and a half. He's seven now. Family respite was basically there from, from the very beginning. It was such a relief to know that there are people that you don't have to explain and tell them about what to expect um, with the disorder because they're very knowledgeable. We would meet our respite worker in the morning here with um, his little brother uh, Tate also is uh, was attending camp and he was very excited to, to meet his respite worker and they had a very good relationship uh, after the, the few weeks that he was here. I wouldn't be able to put him in camp uh, without support only because his weaknesses are the social interaction with the other kids. He would likely have gone and um, played on his own and not really inter interacted with the other kids. And again, they understand how to get to him because they're knowledgeable with the disorder. Many instances where I've seen that child smile because they've never experienced what they're experiencing before. Or, you know, smile because they've had an amazing time that they've never maybe even had the opportunity to ever engage in before. Our supports um, that are the out-of-home respite are designed to give parents more of a full break so they're getting, you know, maybe an entire weekend where they can really, you know, do something that they enjoy or have some time to themselves so it feels a little bit more refreshing and, and that much more of a break. But we're also ensuring that that weekend is a weekend away that's a fun weekend for them too. The interesting thing about this work is that sometimes people come to us really looking for Sometimes it's career experience, that kind of thing. They're going to be teachers, they're going to be nurses. And what we hear from workers is that what they get back from the children that they work with and that the families that they work with permanently shapes how they view the world. And it's really uh, a, just such a, a wonderful thing to watch those relationships develop. At that age, you know, they're wanting to connect and meet friends. Their interests, their needs, their wants, feeling like they're actually a part of something at their age that they're willingly wanting to do and be a part of. When we decided to have children, we, we wanted to have a number of children and Stephanie was the first. Uh, Stephanie was never able to speak, still is not able to speak. She has some developmental delay and some uh, high myopia, so low vision. I was not to the point where I could have let anybody from outside come in and help me and I think I was probably more scared to allow someone to come in and help us. You're inviting somebody that you don't know into your home and you're thinking you know we should be able to do this ourselves and this is yet one more person that's coming in to assess Stephanie and you think you can do everything yourself but maybe you can't. Corbin somehow elicits this amazing reception when Stephanie uh, sees her come to the door. She knows that Corbin gets her involved at the park and takes her for walks and um, it's not just uh, about you know learning fine or gross motor, it's about getting out in the community with Corbin and Stephanie really enjoys that. Our goal is to work with families to develop a plan that is flexible and that meets the type of respite or the type of care that they want for their child and their families. Why not let this organization have an opportunity to help you? Having a special needs child is, is extremely time consuming and you want to make sure that you're able to share your time with the rest of the family as well. Trust family respite that they will help make life a little bit easier even if you can't imagine it.